What's up everybody? My name is Will. Welcome back to the Outdoor Movement. On today's Sweetwater Adventures, our adventures have brought us to the Stanton River. Hi. Emily here. You've seen her on a James River float trip video. Hi, Emmy. Hi. Her dad, Chuck. You've seen little Charlie. We are making a seven mile float trip today. Specifically, we're launching at Dalton's Landing. We're floating seven miles down to Alta Vista. And this is a new landing just built in 2021. It's a pretty nice place. Lots of parking. There's a Porta John up here for an emergency. Got a nice boat slide down to the beautiful Stanton River. There's a good variety of species here in the Stanton. It flows into Bugs Island, Kerr Lake. And it's supposed to be a great smallmouth fishery here but it also has the roanoke bass walleye this river has striper in it and largemouth but today should be fun we appreciate you watching and you know what to do so subscribe to the channel hit that like button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos we'll unload and hit the water all right so i'm fly fishing it right now and I've got this little crawdad that has been killing it so far first impressions of the Stanton River <clears throat> is that this place is beautiful and there are lots of fish in here fish on what is it it's a green sunfish Look at how pretty the orange is on that fish. Gorgeous fish. Look at the blue on the face. The orange tips. What a gorgeous fish. Thanks. Smell you later. On this Z-Man rigged Texas. Texas style Z-Man crawl. Like a motor oil. Watermelon pumpkin color. Chuck says, got him. We're gonna be keeping some bluegill today, y'all. All right, so I've got a nice fish on the fly rod here. Nice smallie on the fly rod. I mean, this four weight is doubled over. He's going under the boat. He's going under the boat. Oh my gosh. Can't put much more heat on this joker. Oh my gosh, this is a tank, y'all. Don't come off, don't get off, don't get off, don't get off. Oh my gosh. I got him on the reel now. Got him on the reel now. Oh, that's a nice fish. Come on, don't get off. Oh, it's got a large mouth with it. Oh, don't come off. Don't come off. Don't come off. Oh, I wish I had a landing net. Come on, I got to get him before he get, gets in that tree. Oh, I wish I had a landing net. Come here. Yeah, got it. All right. Oh, what a smallie. On that little tiny crawfish. I bet that's 18 or 19 inches. What do you think about that, Charlie boy? That's a solid fish on the fly rod. Ow, ow! <laughs> Hooked up on the fly rod again. Another smallmouth. I watched this one eat it. I was stripping my, I was stripping my lure in. Oh, it just came off. Easy, quick release. Good. I was stripping in this little crawfish watching it and I uh, saw a fish come up right behind it so I paused and stopped it and just watched my bait disappear, watched the fish gobble it up. That was a really cool take. Mm, fish on. Bluegill. Good size bluegill too. Ooh. You might be dinner tomorrow night. 
That's a good size bluegill to start with. First one in the old cooler. That's gonna be dinner tomorrow night. All right, so the story is Chuck's hooked up with a nice fish. I was getting this fly line in as fast as I could. And uh, I can't go back to film Chuck's fish because this aggressive little smallmouth decided to play. Look at that. Gotcha. On that crawfish. All right. Beautiful specimen of a smallie. Chomp, chomp. Wet my hand. Oh, Chuck just said it's a catfish. I'm not turning around paddling back up river for that. <laughs> Woo, loving this. The Stanton River is so much fun, y'all. You got to come check it out. So this little pebbled beach up here, this rock bar, is our lunch lunchtime spot. We're going to drift up to it and fish. We have a bunch of logs in the water. It all looks really, really fishy. And uh, we're about to grill out some, some sausages and hot dogs. The best hot dog you'll ever eat is on a riverbank. So stay tuned. Oops. Try not to do that. Jam that paddle against the boat and it makes all that noise. It will spook fish. This is skinny sweet water here. Ooh, had one on. Still running this little miniature crawfish. Not sponsored by Trout Magnet at all, but this is a Trout Magnet product. The hook and the crawfish. And this crawfish, um, my buddies over there have, have all caught fish that when they're unhooking them, the fish regurgitates a small little tiny orange colored crawfish. So, crawfish it is, and that's what they're keying on. Oh, fish on, fish on. Stay tight on him, stay tight on him. Oh, it's a nice small mouth. Pretty one. Pretty small mouth there, key and then, oh, he came off. Darn, that was another 14 or 15 inch fish. They're keying in on these crawdads today. That's all right, Jordan, Jordan didn't make them all either so. heartbreak hotel right there though folks oh i got a fish on here what is it what is it oh it's i think it's a war mouth it just gave up it is a war mouth check that out y'all some might disagree and say oh it's a green sunfish but Look at how pretty the tips of those fins are. Got some pretty blues on the cheek. Elongated dorsal fin here. What a beautiful fish though. Thank you. All right, so this is our break point. Sunday, how are you doing? Oh, Harold just jumped in the water. Look at the water is today. Oh, the water's gorgeous. Errol just jumped over. Oh, we all just ate our fill. We're on this gravel bar for lunch. Hot dogs on the river. Leftover hot dogs on the river, cooked in the little basket on the charcoals. Kids are in the water. They're swimming again, playing, having a good time. We're gonna hang out a few minutes, let this food digest. Hi, Emmy. Did you eat a hot dog? So yeah, that's our lunch. We're gonna take a few minutes, let food digest, and get back to it. Oh, yeah, that was a big lunch. I ate three hot dogs. We'll see you when we get back in the canoes. We're making our way towards Ana Vista, right? And not Alta Vista. Alta Vista, that's where we're going. Oh my gosh, y'all, there's like 10 smallmouths right here. They're all giants. They're all giants. Don't eat it, you little broom. 
they're like right under the front of my boat. Charlie, please. Uh, I'm trying to assess the situation here. There's one. There's, I don't see them anymore. I see two of them. There's sw three of them. Oh, he just ate it. One of them's a largemouth. Oh, and I caught a little dink. I caught a little dink. Oh my gosh, they're so nice. I'm floating along right beside them, y'all. Got them. Got one of them. Oh. oh my gosh, I got one of them. It's the smallest one in there. It's the smallest one in there, y'all. It's the smallest one in there. Oh, he's got me around the log. Oh no, oh no. There's so many big fish right here. Oh my gosh. He got me around the log, now I'm hung up. Oh my gosh, there's so many big smallmouth right here. Oh, I'm still on. Oh, he's there. I got him. Oh my gosh, I got him. He came loose. Oh my gosh. This is another nice smallie, but this is one of the smallest ones in there, y'all. Get in the boat. Let's quietly do this. That's a nice smallmouth. That is a nice smallie. Oh, shoot. Oh, leave it to me. Leave it to me. All right. Oh, got him. Got one. It's not one of the big ones. Oh, it's a bluegill. Oh, gosh. I got all excited. Bluegill do fight pretty hard. They are so much fun. I don't know where that big school of smallmouth went, but it was like 10 of them. And they were swimming along right beside my darn boat. And they were like under me, right beside me. Y'all saw it. I caught that last one. Right beside the boat. It's like I was being calm enough. I was being calm enough to that I where I didn't spook those fish and they didn't alert and one of the big ones like one of the four plus pounders ate and I saw my bait disappear I saw the fish gulp it and I just failed but holy cow that was exciting I gotta paddle up and do that again there it is there's one what is it what is it oh it's a bluegill Oh, that's an eater-sized bluegill too, y'all. This one's going in the cooler. You'll see it later, Emmy. That one's going in the cooler. Hi. Good job, Emmy. Way to um, go. So, so tomorrow, I'm gonna go to Uncle Will's house to eat bluegill. Mm. Yes. It's really good. It is good. You, you guys should come here and try it. Well, Catch we'll... some bluegill. And if you guys, um, look and you guys could catch bluegill and you wouldn't know but if you ate it it would, it would probably taste like bluegill or not yeah bluegill's delicious and if you come we can catch some bluegill and they're really Blue good to eat really good not many rapids on this stretch we're gonna catch a fish right here That's a nice one. That's a nice fish. I missed that fish twice and he came back after it. Oh, that's beautiful. That's another nice quality smallie. That is another trophy. Smallmouth. My shoulder is getting tired. I gave up the fly rod. 90% of my fishing today has been with the fly rod. And now I'm throwing a little zoom fluke. What a beautiful fish. That's another like 14, 15 inch smallie. Look at the tiger stripes on its jaw. Beautiful, gorgeous fish. So we just floated underneath the Route 29, that bridge back here behind me. Uh, I think we still have about another mile to go. That's what the boys are telling me. They did this float trip a few weeks ago. 
and we've had a blast out here we've caught a ton of fish but it's getting on to six o'clock and it's time for us to start paddling on and making tracks back to the truck that's waiting for us so we'll get on this paddle we've caught a bunch of fish today but we'll see you at the boat ramp Hey everybody, it's Will. It's the next day after our Stanton River float trip and I really appreciate everybody watching if you've made it this far. By the time we made it back to the boat ramp, it was almost dark. So it was really poor light quality to shoot a closing video there at the boat ramp. But after we went and picked up our shuttle vehicle back up river from our takeout and it was about a two hour drive, long story short, I didn't get home and actually settled in until almost midnight. So it was a really long day, but I highly recommend the Stanton River. If you're into smallmouth fishing and canoeing and kayaking, it's really a good place to go check out. So I highly recommend that. And as I've said in previous videos, really, really important to take advantage of your public access points on our local rivers. So having that said, thanks for watching. You know what to do. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel.